Hello today, I'm Jared of Snake Man, and today we're here to show you some snakes that are in our shows that are not venomous snakes. I mean, I really love my venomous snakes, and I do a lot of videos on them because uh, they are some of my favorite snakes. But these are also snakes that I like that we have in our shows are non venomous. Also, today we're going to have a special guest, which is Madison. Uh, Madison is one of my friends whose parents are breeders of ball pythons. Um, she's a uh, going to be a star in these videos eventually, but right now she did her first video for us. She brought uh, some lessers that her mom and dad produced. She's a little bit shy, so we want you to uh, like the video and make a comment and let her know how much you guys like her so that she'll be on more and more of the videos. She'll get over her shyness. Uh, we're going to show you some of the rescue and adoption snakes that we have also. Um, as I show you the snakes we use, we do a rescue and adoption program for people who don't want their snakes where they can relinquish them to us. We make sure they're healthy and eating and then we re, uh, rehome them to uh, people who would like to take care of them and keep them as pets. Also, we're not begging for money, but we do accept donations. Um, I do have an, a donation button on my website, which is www.jerrythesnakeman.com. Uh, button's only been used one time for the entire time that we've had it. Uh, we do hope that you will donate something because it does cost quite a bit of money in order to keep these snakes and everything for the electric and all the food and whatnot. But we're not begging for it. We know that somehow, some way, um, our adoption program will go forward regardless if people adopt. But um, if you like what we do and you like what you see and you like to help snakes find better homes, um, go ahead and, and please, you know, send us something. Uh, it would be nice to have $10, $20. I mean, a one-time donation actually does mean a lot to us. If you like what you see today on our videos, um, click with that you like us on YouTube. And like I said, if you see Madison and you like her and you want to see her on more videos, make comments on this video and let her know that you want to see more of her. All right, so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll show you some of the non-venomous snakes that we use in our shows. Hello, my name is Madison Lunt and my mom and dad are snake breeders. We breed ball pythons. As you can see, this ball python right here is a lesser. These guys didn't hatch long, too long ago, so they are pretty new. We, they already went through a shed and everything. We fed them, which, which is good, so yeah. How you doing today? Today I want to show you here I got a nice chain king snake. This king snake was brought to me as a uh, rescue. As you know we do rescues and adoptions and this king snake here was brought to me by a girl who could longer uh, keep it. She had to move. Uh, it's a beautiful king snake. It's a nice chain king. Um, nice colorations and everything. We take snakes in for adoption and we make sure they're healthy and eating and then we uh, readopt them out. Uh, this particular snake here has been her pet, she said, for approximately seven years now. And uh, what's really cool about running an adoption and rescue, as long with our educational programs, is that we get a lot of different kinds of snakes in constantly for adoption. And then we can take these snakes, we can, while we're waiting for somebody to adopt them, we can use them in our shows. Um, so that's one of the cool things about running a rescue. The next snake I want to show you is my white-sided rat snake. He's really cool. Uh, I live in New York, so black rat snakes are native to New York. And this is basically a black rat snake, but with the white size on it. He's really cool. Some people will call this a licorice black rat. Um, if you look at him really close right now, though, he's kind of pinkish. Um, that means that he's about ready to go into a shed. I know a lot of times I get people ask me, my snake's belly is pink. Is he burnt or is he irritated from his substrate or something? And I tell them, no, it's normally it's just that that snake is about ready to go into a shed, so they'll turn that pinkish color. So as soon as he's going to sloth off his skin, and once he does, this white-sided rat snake will have very, very high, beautiful white coloration. He's an awesome snake. He's very friendly. As you can see, he doesn't try to bite. Um, he's one of our good show snakes because when he is shed and he's at high white, he's so beautiful. And as you can see, he will just crawl around and he'll curl up on your neck if you let him. And 
And this is another snake that came in for adoption quite a while ago. This is actually a leucistic Texas rat snake. Uh, he's a really cool snake. I love that he's solid white. Um, some of these rat snakes have what they call pop eyes, which their eyes stick out. This one's doesn't. His is a beautiful blue eyes. Uh, when I got him, the owner said that the snake constantly would bite at her. She could never hold it. Well, as you can see, the snake is relatively docile because it's the way you hold the snake that really makes them aggressive or not. As you can see, though, unfortunately, right in this general area here, it looks like he had some broken ribs that uh, have healed incorrectly. When I got him, he was already that way, so I would assume that the lady probably dropped something on him or threw him when he tried to bite at her because she was afraid of him. But as you can see, he's really docile now. He's a great snake, and I really love him. One of the things I do with this snake is, when I do my shows, I, I find out who the old people are in the shows because I ask them if they recognize a snake like this. Because when I first saw this snake, it was on an album cover. Um, it was a pure, pure nice white snake, looked beautiful. And obviously the album cover was from White Snake, the group. Um, but I thought it was a mystical snake. In reality, pure white snakes do exist, and they are gorgeous. One of my favorite snakes is this beautifully freshly shed Taiwan beauty snake. They're also called cave dwellers sometimes because they love to hang out in caves and eat bats. This is a beautiful snake. Um, I love that they get relatively long. As you can see, he's extremely friendly. Um, he just wants to crawl all over the place. Right now in my snake room, though, the temperature is probably around 95 to 100 degrees. We have the exhaust fans, and I'm sure you can hear the fans running to try to cool it down. So that's why these snakes are a lot more active than they normally would be. Um, this Taiwan Beauty Snake, I love the markings on them. Up by the head, they have just more of a solid color. They have patterns on their body, and then their tail becomes striped. Um, they're great snakes. They get rather large. They're very, very active snakes. They move around a lot, which is really cool. So if you want to put them in a nice big tank uh, with branches and stuff, you'll watch them crawl around all day long. They make great pet snakes. Snake here, he's super active right now because of the heat. This is one of my uh, snakes that I really like. He's moving around very quickly. It's called a Chinese King Rat Snake. Um, what I'm going to do is restrain him a little bit behind his head to keep him from moving so much. Um, what I like about this snake very much is the patterns on his head. As you can see, they're very large scales. They remind me of a King Cobra's pattern. Um, this guy here is super cool though, and the fact that his scales are extremely rough. Um, I really love that, that feeling when I hold him. Um, he is a Chinese and Asian type of rat snake, but sometimes they can be aggressive, but this guy is not. He's never tried to bite me. He's just super fast when he wants to move around like he's doing right now. Um, these, like I said, these are one of my favorite kind of snakes, only because of that high yellow large-scale markings on his head that he has. Um, that really impresses me. It really makes, like I said, makes him look kind of like a King Cobra. Very, very cool snake. 